Hi, I'm Robin Peterson. I'm an illustrator and a painter and a horse lover and a tree hugger and <laughs> I live out in the woods here at my home and studio that I call Fernwood Studio. I never could decide what I wanted to be when I grew up, so, <laughs> so I did a whole bunch of things. Um, I started, after high school, I started out in art in a four-year university and de decided I didn't like that program, so I switched to science <laughs> and eventually graduated from veterinary school. Art at that point took a backseat, but it didn't go away entirely because I've always used it to, to learn the science parts. After uh, practicing veterinary medicine, uh, large animal surgery, mostly on horses, um, I got a little bit burned out and decided to move back to Washington. Before I made it back to Washington, I did a um, illustration program at UC Santa Cruz that was a graduate level program, one of the first in the country like it, and really quite, a, quite an intensive, amazing program that introduced me to a lot of different techniques and styles. So from there, I managed to have a little bit of a niche in illustration because of my veterinary medical background. And um, they were always in need of somebody who could actually uh, maybe draw an approach to a surgical technique or things that didn't lend themselves well to photography. Most of the illustration I do now is for magazines, some books, um, different publications. It works as a nice balance for the other uh, portrait sort of work that I do and then painting for myself. My preferred medium changes depending on what my goals are. If I have a specific goal, like an illustration, which really the only difference in my mind between illustration work and painting, regular painting, um, is that there's a definite intent behind the illustration um, that's important to convey. Um, and so depending on if the piece is going to be reproduced, um, in a magazine or a poster, what size, um, what its purpose is, will um, dictate kind of what medium I choose. For illustration, a lot of time I'll use a water medium or gouache, an opaque watercolor, um, because it's very versatile and easy to make changes on. Um, I use acrylic a good part of the time for my own, my own paintings. I like the fact that it doesn't require any toxic materials and it dries fast, which for me works, works fairly well. Oil is kind of a treat to be able to use sometimes. I'll do that, but most of the time I paint in acrylic for portraits and for my regular painting. And for illustration work, it's um, gouache and ink often, maybe colored pencil. And then the illustration work is also um, layered, so there's quite a bit of computer work done on it. So it's a real hybrid of traditional illustration and computer work. In the national parks, some of them offer a program called the Artist in Residence Program or AIR program. And I was lucky enough to go to Glacier National Park for two years um, in the summer. And I ended up in Alaska for several different residencies, some of which um, they give you a place to stay and you move around as you like. Um, and do some sort of program for them or some either either a physical program a teaching program or um, a final project in return for the opportunity you have in the parks so this is one that was done for um, the uh, Petersburg Ranger District um, Tebenkoff Bay and it was a kayak um, expedition that we did this was a project that I did for Glacier National Park during my first artist in residence program there. And frankly, it's a little bit overkill. So they don't really have expectations that you'll do quite this big a project. It took me about six months to do at home to finish, but there's over a hundred um, distinct plants and animals and wildlife and whatnot here that represents the great diversity of that particular park. So um, this was definitely a labor of love for me. And all of these animals I saw, all of these animals I photographed, and um, so this has a real, um, a real personal feel to me, and I, I'm very proud of that one. During my second residency at Glacier, I did a, um, a book that they ended up using online, and um, this one was an alphabet book with uh, coloring book pages that 
that you could download. And then after I got home, like I said, it was a big experience for me. I self-published um, this book that has a lot of the photographs that I took while I was there. Pretty stunning place if you ever get the opportunity. Definitely, Glacier is an amazing place to go. Um, and along the line of more of the, the book publishing, which is also a um, very doable project. So if anybody has interest in that, I'm happy to give you some tips. But um, I published a book when I was uh, at Gates of the Arctic National Park, which was also a major event for me. I did uh, one other book um, that's on our local beaches, and it's an alphabet book. And it's based on our Vaughn local inshore Puget Sound beaches. And the books are available um, at cost. Unfortunately, they're not, they're not really cheap because they're self-published, but, but they are available and um, you can find them on my studio, which is fernwoodstudio.com. Definitely a mixture of left brain and right brain. <laughs> so I enjoy the challenges that, that um, illustration brings. Um, and I'd like to show you a little bit about how um, I do these. A lot of what I do ends up to be um, in magazines and whatnot, and so it will eventually be printed. Um, but how I put it together is with a mixture of traditional and um, contemporary techniques. So I use paintings. This would be my base painting, and this was done in um, gouache, maybe a little colored pencil in there. Um, so that's my base painting. And then this painting will show the detailed anatomy that needs to uh, be in the, in the illustration. This particular one is a, about cranial nerves in the horse. So you have the horse skull, the brain, the first part of the spinal cord, and the cranial nerves. And then I'll come over here to the computer, and here's my base painting again. So I've, I've matched them up so the base painting and the skeleton go together. And then by manipulating how much shows um, uh, I can get the fine detail to where I want it to be. So this one would tell us about this particular nerve if they're doing a procedure or whatnot on it. So, so that's kind of a fun um, uh, niche for me because I had the, the uh, medical training um, and also because I enjoy the, the artwork part of it. So that's been really great. Um, again, a lot of these anatomy ones are are really fun to do. And then the computer just gives you opportunity to, to play with how much shows. One other thing that I really enjoyed doing and uh, what got me started on it was the, the painting a day thing that happened a few years ago. Um, artists were getting into doing uh, one painting a day and then posting them. And so I kind of joined on that bandwagon, which was really, really fun. Um, these are meant to be quick. They, they're kind of really good as warm-ups. They, um, they help me get into the mood, and they also are like um, just quick sketches of what might have happened during the day. And then from that, um, I also had a relationship with a local veterinarian who has been giving people gift certificates when their animal um, passes away. So these are all small paintings. They're um, either five by seven or six by six. And they're usually taken from snapshots that are maybe not that great. So there's a lot of artistic license that comes in, but it's been a very rewarding program for me and I think for the people that have gotten it. And I also have um, an online gallery where I sell these. Um, uh, and it's called uh, Daily Paint Works. You can also find that through my website too. So these little things keep me busy. Art is, um, I, in, in some ways it's an escape and in some ways it's, it's like just going home. I mean, it's just, it's when you're, when you're wrapped up in it, whether it's something that's a little more structured like an illustration or um, a bigger painting, um, when you're really concentrating in the flow of that, um, time passes without you really even noticing it. And to me, that's the kind of thing that, um, that kind of attention is kind of what you would wish to be able to put on everything in your life. A lot of times, um, I think it, 
the same with people when you journal or when you, um, whatever it is that you're really passionate about, certainly music, all that kind of stuff. I think having those moments when you can just be totally in that space, nothing else bothers you. And it does provide a great release. I mean, especially right now, as crazy as the world is, um, I think those moments are really precious. And, and uh, if you can find yours, um, that's the way to go. If it's singing, even in the shower, you know, it doesn't matter. It's like, those are important parts of of being alive and being well. <laughs>